Hello flowers, it's me, Cozy Bee. I hope you're all feeling healthy and hydrated today. Happy New Year! And I have been away for a few weeks due to the activities around the holidays. And while I was away, Gummy Cat released an update to Bear and Breakfast, which is very important and will allow us to empty our pockets at last of all the crappy toilets we've been saving for some reason. So let's load up all this junk that we don't want and put it in our inventory and try out the new system and see what it does. Where have I gone? It's been a couple weeks. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so we should be able to use this. Uh, I don't know how to use that yet. Oh, I guess we'll have a quest. We're going to learn right now. Hi, Anton. No good two-timing little rat. The gate's open. What do you want? Uh, nothing. I was just about to... I'll tell you what, there's no respect on the top-down criminal organization business anymore. What's the point of having bootlickers if there's no passion for boots? Or licking? Maybe the flavor isn't great? Maybe the flavor isn't great. <laughs> I'd to turn you into boots and see what flavor comes out, huh? Bear flavor? You should really stop testing my patience and get to the dump. There's a bag of doorknobs back there you might get along with. <laughs> I hope they like me. Oh, Hank. Claire, get this bird being briefed on the garbage grinder. Maybe we'll get lucky and he falls in. Claire, are you in this drawer? What do you want, bird brain? Uh, Anton said something about doorknobs? You don't get to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Oh, sorry. Boss said something about doorknobs. Sure he did. Look, you gotta be careful around the dump. It's not a playground. Especially around the garbage grinder. That'll rip your doorknob right off. Then I couldn't open any doors! Yeah, I'm sorry Hank. That's a little rough. Listen, you can throw in any furniture you built yourself into the grinder. It'll wreck it, but you can salvage some of the materials. Around half, give or take. I pick take. Me too, Hank. Ugh. Just don't get your hand stuck in there, or you'll lose it. And we can't have ripped limbs just lying around anymore. Anymore, huh? Or else the boss is gonna lose it. My hand? I'm not talking to you anymore. You now have unlocked the ability to recycle furniture for materials. The garbage grinder in the A24 can take crafted furniture and salvage it for free. Recycling will only return around half the original crafting materials. Round it up. Place any crafted furniture in the input slots and click the recycle icon to start salvaging. Once done, you'll find resulting materials in the outpost slot. You cannot salvage decorative items or any other or anything other than crafted furniture. It's fine by me. I'm so happy. Alright, let's put in uh, this wind shower, this sink, our crappy toilets, these beds, this bed, this other bed. This is a really big machine. Okay, that actually takes a while, but that's fine. Uh, let's do some more. This, that, this thing. I noticed while I was walking around that we also have a holiday quest, so we'll definitely tackle that today. My main objective was actually going to be to get uh, Julia to work at our hotels, of course, um, but we have time, not to worry. Christmas quest. Uh, 
We'll do this before we get back to the grinder. Uh, hello? Come one, come all to the annual celebration. Okay, Terry Finn. Hello? Finn? Join the joyous jubilation and celebrate the things that make life worth living. Our special offers and exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I'm Terry Finn. Because I get up every day feeling just like Terry Finn. You're a different kind of annoying. So, is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion. Parental advice materials should include the branding guidelines. I'm always saying that. Are you Hank? I, I had to say it twice to try and... Anyway. My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists. Based on current cultural and pun-friendly trends. As nature intended. Pon Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet lucrative past year. By bringing you the festive winter spirit. In purchasable form. A stock update. A visit a special shop. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Well, I am a sucker for a little festive versions of everyday things. Me too, Hank. What do we got? Ooh. We're gonna need some... Some money, I think. Oh, we're gonna need valuables. That's what we're gonna need. Red flappy hat. Festive polar sweater. Breezy, <laughs> breezy trousers. Verdant fir tree. Festive fir tree. Winter hearth. We're gonna need to get some of these things. Today's mission has changed slightly. Uh, but first, let's finish recycling. Thanks to the recycling machine, we finally have room in our inventory, and it's all nice and tidy. I have a few store objects left over. This is all I have. These are quest items. We'll find a place to put these in the future. But for now, everything is much better, and I couldn't be happier. Alright, phase two. Let's see if we can work on our financial situation, uh, just like real life. But I want to afford some of the holiday things before it's too late, and they're gone. I don't know when that will be, so let's do our best. Right now we can't afford to keep the garbage collection going, so that's pretty rough. We'll clean up around here in the meantime. How much would it be to turn on? Well, Gus is also off here. Man, we're doing really bad. Um, let's accept some people in in the meantime. One of my commenters told me I should check and see how much money the guests might bring with them and it would help. But I'm not sure where I see how much money they have. I can only see what their demands are. Mm, maybe, well... Whatever their demands are, we're doing okay. Um, I guess let's accept some picky people. 
guess that's fine. We'll just have to cover everyone's jobs for a little bit. Also, just like real life. The Winterberry Lodge isn't quite finished yet. The second floor, I have some plans for. Well, we'll get to that soon. Looks like our trash collection is still on here. That's good, at least. Ooh. Everything is mediocrity. I mean, moderation. Won't be returning soon. What happened to you? I just renovated. Room is not comfortable enough. Room is not decorated enough. Okay. This guest expects higher than average. They expect lavish. So they want 38 decoration. Or it's unseemly. What's ours at? 36. So really it only needs two more points. And they want 16 comfort. We're at 20. So it should be comfortable enough. Maybe I just don't understand how stuff works. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can add a couple more points with anything that we have in our inventory. <laughs> I don't have very nice things in my inventory right now. Um, I just found this new button, throwaway. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now we're at 46. Okay, everything is in tip top shape. That's good. What about this one? Room is not comfortable, room is not decorated. The entire resort is kind of cheap. This is after we renovated. Rude, okay. All right, well now the comfort and the decoration score is high enough, but the entire resort is kind of cheap. Mm. Luxurious, beautiful, great, but I'm not sure. I guess the decorations out here aren't nice enough for them? Uh, maybe. I mean, we do have an outhouse as well. Like, <laughs> I know that probably doesn't actually contribute, but maybe it should. When in doubt, add plants. Well, I'm just gonna leave it for now. If we continue to have really bad reviews about the rest of the resort, I'll check back into it. But we have bigger fish to fry today than that. Let's keep going. Potatoes and tea, our very first starter. Food? Can we afford it right now? Yes. Okay. 
Julia's gonna come work for us and hopefully that will help our horrible reviews here. That would be great. I don't even wanna look at our reviews when it's it. Yeah, they're pretty low. Um, they're not as bad as I thought, but they're not great. So hopefully Julia cooking for everyone will help a lot. I really would like to get a jeweler's kit so we can complete the fawn, but that feels late game. I'm not sure where to get one. I guess we could check the bus stop. Does Julia actually come here? I don't see her, but that doesn't mean she won't. All that matters is it's working. Well, I'm sorry, literally everyone. We're leaving. No, they don't have it. That's okay. Ooh, here's the holiday shop. Can we afford anything? We have 637. Can't afford a hat. Can't afford a sweater. We can afford breezy trout. Oh my gosh. A glorious effigy. All right. The wreath is only five. Pinecone shelf is cute. Some of these things are things I would keep around all the time. The mirror is really pretty. I want like a million of all of these. Okay, we have 637. Let's get things that we would keep around all year. To be fair, I don't know if this shop will go away, but I feel like it would. It feels like an event, right? Okay, we have 313 left, so I'm gonna get as many things as I can within that budget that I haven't already gotten. Okay, we have one of everything except for the clothes, and I'd really like to have these. They look so cute, so we're gonna have to come up with 2,000 valuables pretty quickly. Also, my inventory's full again, but you know. I wonder if any of the items I got could go here and help with the cheapo rating. Let's see. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'll probably continue to spread out the decorations while we upgrade the rest of the hotels. Hopefully I can continue to buy them for a little while, but I'm thinking I probably can't. But I'm glad I got to get one of everything. That's, that's all that matters really, right?
Looks like we're back in business. Let's see what else we can turn on. I think we have enough to buy one of the pieces of clothing now. But let's see if we can get everything in working order. Uh, next week's video is actually going to be here in Winterberry. We're going to work really hard in this area to finish it completely and also get Julia to work here. Uh, yes, we can get the red flappy hat, but I think I really want the polar sweater. I really love sweaters. In real life, I own like a sweater collection. It's a little embarrassing considering I live in Florida. money, not valuables. I wasn't paying attention to that at all. Uh, priorities. Priorities. Yes. Priorities. We might not have enough money now to do whatever it was I came here to do, but priorities. Everything's still on here. That's pretty good. Our reviews are abysmal, but I expected that much considering it's cold, and there's no food, and everything is not upgraded, and you know what? We just need to work here for a while. It's on my radar, not, not to worry. Alright, let's see about this trash item button. Amazing! Goodbye extra inventory stuff that I spent valuables on that I just don't want anymore. life is so much better. Someone tell me though, was that there the whole time and I just never found it or was that part of the winter update? I don't know. It'd be really embarrassing if it had been there the whole time. All right, so our biggest things that we wanted to do today are done. We got to participate in the winter event and we got Julia to cook over at High Lake. The next thing I want to do before I go today is just visit the holiday shop one last time. We have 1,074 valuables. I'm going to buy all the items that I think I would want more of in the future, like the candles and lamps and probably the rugs too. set. I'm pretty happy with all the progress we were able to make in this episode. One step at a time, we're going to make our resorts better and better, and in the next episode, we're going to start in Winterberry to do just that. It might be a two-parter because there is a lot to do in Winterberry, but we'll see. We have quite a bit done. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Take care out there.